All right, hello boys and girls. We are gonna get out our reading and grammar notebook and some scissors and glue and something to write with. So I will meet you over there. Let's get the camera started. Okay, so here is what you'll need in the papers over there. In that green folder. Okay, so we have our reading and grammar notebook, and then we need our little um, envelope. We're going to take out our cosmic ice cream story. Okay, and you're going to need your scissors. Okay, so just that many cuts. And we just need our glue. We're going to go back here to reading, the reading tab. Okay, we have these pages. We did the blue character traits. And now we're going to glue this in on the back side of that character traits page. Make a box. And an X. That's enough glue right there. Let's just turn it over. Smooth it down. Okay. Turn the whole thing down. Okay. So once you have this glued in, we're going to get close and I'm going to read the story to you and you can read along in your book. It says Cosmic Ice Cream, Character Traits. Mason and Gabe could not be more different. Mason was the only child in his family and always wore the latest in third grade fashion. Gabe was the oldest son in a large family and he simply did not put much thought into his clothes. When these two best friends stood next to each other, Mason was small compared to his large buddy. One day, the boys' the boys's class took a field trip to the science center. As they rode the bus at the beginning of the day, Mason bragged about how much money he had brought on the trip. I'm going to buy cosmic ice cream in the gift shop, exclaimed Mason. That's cool. I only brought $5, explained Gabe. I'll probably just get something for my mom. Her birthday's coming up. When they got to the science center, Mason looked for many ways to spend his money. He bought a sweatshirt, a keychain, and a hat that looked like a brain. All of it was for himself. After lunch, the boys found the cart that sold the cosmic ice cream. I'll take one minty mint chip, chip flavor, Mason told the lady at the cart. However, when he reached in his pocket for the money, Mason was shocked to only find a few coins. It was not enough for his sweet treat. Gabe saw that his friend had spent all of his money. He pulled out his folded up $5 bill and gave it to the ice cream lady. A smile spread across Mason's face. Thank you, Gabe. So let's look at number one. Which word best describes Mason? Is he tall? Is he dishonest? Is he greedy? Or is he sensitive? What do you think? Mason is the one that brought all the money and he was going to buy all kinds of stuff for himself and the cosmic ice cream. And Gabe was the boy that was taller and he was just going to buy something for his mom with his $5. So Mason was kind of being a little greedy, wasn't he? Because he wanted everything. Number two, which word best describes Gabe? Gabe was his friend. Is he hopeful, generous, short, or selfish? Gabe is more generous, isn't he? Because he took that money that he had and helped out his friend. Okay. Number three, why does Gabe pay for Mason's sweet treat? What do you think? You can write down your reason. I'm going to write down, I think Gabe is a generous and kind friend yeah so he um helps his friend 
Mason. Okay. You can write down your sentence or you can copy down mine. It's up to you. But make sure you have these things answered and this is glued into your reading interactive notebook in the reading section. And that is all we're going to be doing for character trait words. Um, we're going to be doing tomorrow, we're going to be doing our identifying adverbs task cards. So we will have that tomorrow. Um, and I think the rest of it is just for as we keep going in our grammar. So we don't need any of that right now. All right. So when you're all the way finished, you can um, either meet me in the read aloud or you can go to the math lesson and come back to the read aloud after that. All right. I will see you there.